Hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, we're just uh, waiting uh, for others to join. Uh, I see most of you are already here. Uh, let's give another uh, one, one and a half minutes. Let's start at around seven or five works. Deepak? Yeah. Perfect. All right, guys, let's begin. Uh, Deepak. Is my screen visible? Yeah, Deepak. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good evening, everyone. 
Deepak Chaudhary this side. <clears throat> Today we'll understand the coding uh, part of the project two, that is uh, action tracker dev. Right? For project one, we have done one session. If you uh, have been allocated with project one and you haven't joined that session, please do so and check out the recording we have uh, uploaded on the <clears throat> uh, YouTube. So in today's session, uh, we'll be mostly focusing on the project two, right? So let's just see. Okay, let's just recap the project requirement. All right. Uh, as we seen earlier, <clears throat> the project name is Action Tracker Management. In this, any user can add their task, right? And and at any time they can review what all pending tasks they have. And in this, uh, we have one more functionality that is one user can also assign a task to another user, and that will reflect in the assigned task storage, right? And if you want to complete that task, you can do that. Also, user can uh, edit the task which are assigned by themselves only, right? User cannot edit the task which is assigned by other user, right? Let's say I have assigned uh, you uh, a coding task. So you can't edit that task, right? Let's just read the functionality what we have here in the project requirement document. So first is the like task addition, any user can access the app and add task to their personal task list. So these represents specific actions and responsibilities that the user plans to complete. Then we have pending task review, then uh, task completion marking, when a user complete a task, they can mark it as complete with the dev. This action signifies the successful execution of the task. After a marking as a completion, then the task uh, will be automatically removed from the user active task list. Next, we have a task assignment by other user. Right? User can assign task to any to one another. Right? Then we have received task management. If a task is assigned to a user, they will be able to view that task. And then we have editing. User can user have ability to add the task. <clears throat> right. So this is the uh, project description. We'll see the testing from UI. But if you have any uh, doubt in the description, so you can ask now. Then we have project prerequisites, right? So to uh, build our substrate chain, you need to have Rust and Substrate uh, environment set up in your uh, in your laptops, right? For Windows, we have one more uh, thing we need to do that is WSL, right? To install WSL, you can just go to this link and uh, install that. And if you face any problem in installing the WSL or running the WSL, then you can go to this link and you will find the step by step to solve that error. Okay. Now these are the knowledge repositories, right? So first you need to have rushed and substrate knowledge in order to complete this project, right? For that, you just go to the YouTube videos that we have covered in the last uh, in the last one and one and a half month, right? So you can find the playlist on this link. Then, how to perform unit test case? You can go to this link and find how to perform that. And if you want to know more about the Web three and blockchain, then here is the link. Okay, what are the uh, project completion criteria? So first criteria we uh, already have discussed that you need to uh, complete the uh, THD that is technical specification document, right? Then the second thing would be 
to complete the source code right uh, today we'll share a source code with you like right? that source code you will need to uh, first complete that code because we have skipped some part in between first you need to complete that and then you will upload that code into your github repository and that repository link you are sharing in the form see many of you are confusing like if we have submit the thd then will be will be able to uh, edit edit that uh, form or not so what you will do is you uh, in first task you <clears throat> submit the technical specification document and then you can edit that form and uh, paste the repository link right and when you complete with the unit test case result then you can again edit that form and paste the utr result document okay so here is the submission link and this is the repository link repository link will discuss what is this okay let's just test this from the ui for that let me first run the node sorry Okay, let's just test and go to the polka.js org. In the meantime, if you have any doubt till now, you can ask. Okay, so you can see here a uh, chain is running, it's producing block. So we are on currently on 12th block, right? Okay, so let's just perform all the functionalities that we have written here. First is the task addition, right? To perform uh, any uh, functionality, just go to the extrinsic right? and select the user and go to the template module, right? Then we have several options. Add task, add task to others, edit task, mark as complete, Right and mark assigned task as complete. Right. So first, let's run this add task. Let's just say we are adding a task as coding. Okay. So you can see here it successfully compiled, and then we can see in the task is added. And that is coding. Okay, so let's just add one more. It is Bob and template module and add task. Let's just see test it. Okay, you can see here also testing. So if you want to see what all tasks uh, we have or we can say a pending task. So what you can do is just go to the chain state and go to the template module and go to the task. And if you want to see all the uh, tasks to uh, all the uh, user, then what you can do is just off this include option and hit the plus button. So you can see all the users uh, assigned task that is testing and coding. So testing is a Bob task and the coding is Alice task. If you want to be more specific about 
let's say I want to see the Alice task. You can just uh, select the Alice and you can see here Alice task is coded. Okay, let's just go to other functionalities that is assign task to other. Okay, let's uh, assign Bob to Alice. Uh, what? Let's just say running. Okay. Okay, you can see here task is assigned that is running. And if you can, if you want to see what all tasks that is assigned task to the LS, then you can see running. And these tasks, uh, they are stored in different, different storage. So the task that's, that is assigned to you, that is stored in assigned task. And the task which assigned by themselves, that is stored in tasks right and we can see the task storage so in task storage alice has coding and in assigned task assigned storage alice has running okay now we have uh, three more functionalities that is add a task mark as complete let's just test the mark as complete and uh, Let's assume running. All right. Because Bob doesn't have running task, right? Let's just see. You can see here task not found. Right. Running task only Alice has. Okay. Let's just. Mark as complete of coding. All right. Now you can see here task complete that is coding. And if you can go to the chain state and see the task of Alice, then the coding will delete it. All right. Then let's just test other functionalities that is add a task all right because uh, we are not we cannot add the task that is assigned to you and let's just try it can we do that or not uh, that is alice has assigned task running and uh, we need to make it as coding let's see can we do that can see here task not found because running is not found in the task storage and we can only edit the task which is uh, stored in the task storage okay so let's just edit the task of bob and uh, i think bob has testing so let's just edit that And you can see here, task is edited. Now it's testing. Let's just go to the chain chain state and the task. We just close this, and you can see here. Or we can what we can do is we can go to the Bob. You can see. Here. Earlier it was testing and now it is coding. Okay. Now, so go to the extrinsic template module and mark as complete. What mark as complete? That is testing. Not testing because testing is not in the. We should get an error. Yeah. So mark is completed as coding. Okay, you can see here 
task completed and if we see assign task so we have one more task that is assigned to 5g rw let's see who that counts is 5g rw that is assigned to alice okay let's just complete that one also mark assigned task is complete that is running and we can only complete it by the alice okay let's just go to the change state and see the assigned task so we do not have any task and this also is empty all right so we have seen like all the functionalities are working if you have any doubt in this you can ask Okay, now uh, we have seen all the functionalities that we have mentioned in the document, all are working fine. Then what will be your work in this? So the catch is we are not going to share the full code with you. Instead of this, we have prepared a template for you where we have skipped few lines of code, you to code. Let's just understand the code and see what you need to do in that. You open that link and go to the template, go to the source and lib.rs. Okay, let's just understand the code. First, what we can do is we just understand the type, uh, not this one. Okay, so we have mock.rs as directed. Okay, let's just see the task. We have defined uh, two storage that is task and assign task in task we have uh, use a storage map that is hash map so for that we need a key and a value right to store the string we are using vector of u8 all right and this signifies the string and we need a vector of string right same thing goes for assign task right so again then we have events and errors we'll understand uh, when we encounter with this so now we have uh, just understand the dispatchable right so first is add task so add task we first check the origin should be signed that is the origin should pay some fee right then what we do <coughs> sorry do is we get all the tasks from the uh, storage right then we check if it is already present right if it is already present then we return an error that task is already added right then if it is not present, then what we'll do, we'll just add this task into the temporary variable that is all task. And now that we have uh, updated the temporary variable, then we need to store that variable to the storage that is task. We just insert the uh, all task to the home. And then we have deposited the event, event that is task added and the task name. Task added we have defined above here. All right. Okay, then we have mark as complete. In mark as complete, user can mark their task as complete. Like if the task is marked as complete, then it automatically delete from the storage that we have seen and check if the task is present in the storage or not right to mark any task as complete we'll first check if this task is present in the storage or not for that we again check 
the origin should be signed and we'll get all the tasks and then we are checking all task dot contain right if it is not found then we return an error task not found right and if it is present then what we'll do task dot mutate right so we are mutating on this storage right so this is the closer right so what we'll get in the task storage that is tasks right and we are iterating over this task and we are uh, saying if this x is equals to the task that we need to remove right if we found that index then we just task dot remove we remove that index okay if you didn't get this thing so what you can do is you can just go to the rust book and refresh the closer concept then you will get it and then we deposit the event that is task completed right this also we have defined above task completed now next is assign task to other so in that we got origin who and task right origin assign the task to who now that thing you need to do so this function you need to implement you need to assign task to the other and again when we have mark assign task as complete this function also you will need to complete at last we have added task so to add a task we first check the origin is should be signed then we'll uh, get all the tasks from the storage right and we check if it is present or not that we are uh, going to add it and same thing first what we'll do is we just remove the old task right and then we push the new task and we can say that the old one is replaced with the new one and we just deposit the event that is added and the task name so overall what you need to do is you need to complete these two functions assign task to other and mark assign task to as complete rest all functions are already completed all right now if you have any doubt in this you can ask not then we can go ahead okay now how how will you check whether the code that you have written is correct or not right for sorry, that but, sorry to interrupt uh have we addressed Sudhir singh's question is this a hiring round going on that's not a relevant question oh okay 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 let's just continue so how will you check whether your code is uh, is that you have written is correct or not for that you need to run cargo test test let me show you where what i want to say cargo test test oh no it will take around two to three minutes so let's just continue and you will see uh, after the completion you will see all the test cases are passed right and but in your case in your template all the test cases are not passed some test cases were failed right so for that you need to complete that uh, portion sorry for that 
can't hear you before. You need to complete these portions, right? And then if this portion that you have completed is correct, then your test cases also will pass. If all test cases are passed, then you can say, yeah, our code is correct. Then when you are done with the test cases, then what do you need to do? You need to fill these uh this sheet in this first you will give the hand number then test name and the test description let me see if okay just we'll just wait for this all right so what you will do is you just uh, add all the description of the test. Then you will sign that it is passed or failed. And after all of that, you will uh, upload a screenshot in which all the test cases are shown. Then at last we have, uh, you need to make a banner which represent your project idea that is uh, action tracker action tracker dev right and it will upload on the github okay let's just summarize all the things first what you need to do is you just need to clone this repository right then you will complete the pending codes that we have seen the to do's you need to complete all these then you will check your code is correct or not for that you will run cargo test test right and then you will upload your code onto the github you will upload this code on your github and you will share the repository link in this form this the form is same that you use for the submission of THD. So you can just go and edit that and uh, share the repository link. And the deadline of this is 26th September. And if you are done with this, then you need to make a banner, right? And what you will do is after creating a banner, then you will do is you can just go to the readme and just select all and remove that and drag and drop your banner here. After that, you can commit change. Then your banner shown in this readme file. All right, then the then you need to upload the UTR also in the same form. Just edit that and add the uh, share the link of UTR. After all of that, you need to upload a demo video. Demo video is like what we have seen here. We have tested all the functionalities from the UI. So the same thing you will need to do. You will uh, run your chain and you will perform all the functionalities by your end and you are recording the uh, screen. That will be your demo video. Again, the demo video, demo video will uh, share in the same form. Just edit that. Or did I just see if this complete or not. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Here you can see we have 11 test cases that all are passed right in your case you will see some failed test cases right so you need to make sure that all test cases should be passed right so the description of this uh, description of test case is this mark assigned 
and then you will say it is passed or not. Okay means passed. Okay, so this is all. Can we make private repo? If you make private repo, then how can we access that? Then you need to uh, make me as a collaborator if you want to make a private repo. All right, any other question? All right, uh, so I think there's no other question, Deepak. Okay, sir. We can close it for today. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Deepak. So, uh, guys, I'm just putting the WhatsApp group uh, for you to join. I'm sure most of you are already there, but in case you're not, just join the group. If you have any doubts or queries, just let us know. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, see you all uh, very soon. Tomorrow we'll have the discussion with Project 3, guys. Uh, if you want to join in, jump in and learn a few things or you have any question uh, regarding something else, then uh, we can address it at the time. But thank you so much once again and have a great day. Work on all the things that we have discussed here. If you have any questions, reach out, reach out to us on our WhatsApp group or Discord. And yeah, seek out help and we'll definitely uh, jump in and help you. Most of the things are already done. But uh, yeah, if you still need help, then let us know. Thanks again, Deepak. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you all. Have a great night. Bye. Thank you.